how are you doing? This is day 3 of AAD 2014 where BAE System South Africa unveiled for the first time the RG21. Good morning, I am Natasha Pfeiffer, Business Development Director for BAE Systems, Land Systems South Africa. We started concept studies maybe 18 months ago about the vehicle, the RG21, which we're launching at Africa Aerospace and Defence this week. And we really saw a niche in the market for an affordable, highly protected vehicle. And 18 months later, we now have this prototype that we're showing for you today. Really the main quality is affordability and the highly protected um, vehicle that we have here today. We have gone for a, a very different market space, um, really dropping the price. We had a very specific price target for this vehicle and as I mentioned it's a highly protected vehicle, 14 kilograms under the hull and 21 kilograms under the wheel. Good morning, my name is Jock Foos. I am a system engineer for the RG21 project and uh, I represent the design team that has spent the last 18 months designing and manufacturing this vehicle. The vehicle is mainly an APC in this configuration you see it today. So you can see it's a, it's a, 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 all the seating is for, for APC, armored personnel carrier, and it's for highly threat areas for especially where there's mines. Um, the same vehicle can be reconfigured for two different missions other than APC, it's also for the ambulance variant or a, a, a quick uh, um, extraction of troops that got hurt. Then there's also for the command and control variant where the vehicle is very wide inside so we can have all the TV screens on the other side and you can have the equipment on this side and for this reason the vehicle has to be designed uh, keeping in mind mass as well as electrical power. Um, in that regard, the vehicle has got a, a, a bare mass of about 9.8 tons and it can carry uh, up to 5.2 tons payload. Um, and to achieve all of this and have a cost-effective product, we selected a host vehicle from the Iveco running chassis, which can be serviced right across uh, places like Africa, third world countries can service the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle is uh, very easy to maintain. So right up front, the design team had the challenge for cost effectiveness as well as survivability and then obviously to support the vehicle very easily. Currently the BM basic vehicle is for cost effectiveness and it's already designed for but not fitted with items like a bigger air conditioner inside. Currently there's only an air conditioner set uh, in the dashboard for the front two people. We can fit a bigger system in the rear. So air conditioning is important. If you look at the turret system, the turret system is different holes around here. The turret, we can fit four types of turrets in here, even one where the person sits and hangs in a basket and you can do the firing, or you can fire with a hatch on top of them, or like today, we've got a remote weapon system from our dynamics company fitted to the vehicle. Then another option will be run flat inserts, more bins on the outside, more storage space. You can configure it with the ambulance uh, evacuation units in here. You can fit uh, more people in here, currently there's 11 seats, we can have 12 seats in here. And then there's options outside where you can uh, maybe do more ride control protection, grids in front of the windows. Any type of mission, we've tried to combine all those missions for protection to the troops inside.